Hello, hello, and welcome back hello. to another episode of Free Flow Session mm. Session 12, Episode 12. Episode yes. 12 of Free Flow. Yes. Episode 12. I'm pretty proud of us, Juju, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> episode 12, look yeah. at that. A couple of girls talking about periods. <laughs> we bloody love it. Hard I enough. know. <laughs> um yeah, yeah so this episode um we are exploring the fourth of the five chambers of menstruation um if you haven't listened to the other uh chambers then go ahead and have a little listen it starts on uh blah, blah, blah. episode nine was the chamber of separation episode 10 was the chamber of men of the chamber of surrender and we just recorded two minutes ago uh session or episode 11 which was the um third chamber of renewal slash home so um we're gonna do uh we're doing a little double trouble this evening because uh well basically because i'm ovulating and uh i don't want to have to uh use my brain as much next week when it's potentially going to go a bit downhill so this is this is how we <laughs> these cycles yeah. with our lives uh boys and girls this is how we roll so uh yes so um yeah Indeed. so we're on the yes uh, episode 12 and um yeah the the fourth chamber so visioning slash vision quest we love a good quest mm. um, yeah, yeah. Just, so uh, should we yeah. just do a quick check i know we already did it yeah i was gonna say we people should just do a little to one yeah 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 all separately. on different days or whatever yeah so uh what yeah. sort of day are you on juju so yeah, I'm on day five, definitely in spring, although my period is still around, but I feel like it's spring, mm. which doesn't do happen you feel every crossover, cycle. crossover day, or do you feel definitely spring? Yeah, maybe, because every, so everything has happened very early this cycle, mm. like uh, my period came earlier than planned, so my last cycle was shorter than expected and shorter than my normal cycles are Mm -hmm. um and I feel like spring started happening on day three which is also very Mm -hmm. early so Mm -hmm. I just feel like everything's happening quite early Mm. so um yeah so I I don't know I mean a transition day doesn't have to be one day does it It could Mm -hmm. be it can be several days so perhaps I'm still transitioning Mm. um it feels it just feels very weird to say I'm definitely in spring when I'm still having my period you know yes yeah 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 I know what you mean I have also kind it's of strange. had that same same feeling yeah it's like your body and your head are in kind of two different places and yeah, yeah so uh, so maybe I'm still transitioning yeah mm, yeah yeah I think time um, will tell yeah normally we look at it as yeah as transition as a transitional crossover day but I think as we spoke about in the transition days slash crossover days episode I feel for me, sometimes they are, there can be a couple of days and, uh, you know, I guess there are no rules. So we can, yeah, we can have that. And I think it's always just (laughs) interesting, yeah, to see where you're at. So, um, yeah, yeah. definitely. What about Mm. you? I'm on day 14 still. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'm on cycle day 14. (laughs) Um, (laughs) It's a little joke if you were listening to the last episode. Um, Yeah. Cycle day 14 for me. So I, yeah, I'm ovulating um and definitely have had some of the sort of ovulation cramps also this one I've had like some very in the morning I've had and it's been after my swim and I haven't been swimming you know I went I started swimming last week and I've been swimming a bit you know, uh, can I just like, say I love this I love I know it's swimming so good. first thing in the morning it's so oh, good like amazing. nothing else will get me out of bed at like six and I was like right well, gotta go for my swim <laughs> gotta go <laughs> frolic in the, in, the, in the also because I'm so used to um cold water swimming even like Julia and Chaz they just love to do that cold water swimming love and, it um you yeah, just love it and uh and also just in a river as well like in the, November 1st I'm like well this might as well be in a river um as you do I remember that was the yeah. last time I think I went wild swimming but uh so when I was in the pool I was like oh it's warm <laughs> I'd like forgotten you know so I'm like <laughs> geared up to go into this freezing cold swimming pool at like six in the morning and I was like oh yeah it's warm it's a pool you can pay to get in <laughs> Like, oh, I was gonna I was gonna ask you are you you're swimming in a pool right no yes, not yes, in the yeah, wild in a pool, yeah there is some spaces for wild swimming but I just don't uh trust myself enough to go solo because <laughs> I'm never a ju- good yeah. judge of like a bit of a current and stuff and I'm always surprised like how strong uh, yeah. the river can you be you need so to be like, safe yeah 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 definitely so um yeah so uh, but I've noticed like a bit of like um 
I don't know really how to describe it without it sounding a bit gross. So I'll just go ahead and sound a bit gross. It, it's not gross. It's just our bodies. So it's fine. We'll, we'll shed yeah, that. Yeah, we're just not there. used to talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, the, on, yeah, on Friday, which is when I started ovulating, I think, I'm still kind of working out my ovulation days, but I think that's when I did. That's when I had a bit of pain whilst I was swimming, as in like ovulation pain. So that's kind of how I know. It's like, well, I'm in a bit of pain, so it's there. Um, so that then, and then also this morning, so I don't know if it's a weird swimming thing, but basically just a tiny bit of, so when you have your like um, ovulation, like for want of a better the, word, the like cervical white. mucus, like the egg white, yeah. yeah. There's just a little bit of brown in it. Just like the first, like first thing in the morning when I come back from a swim, from having a pee then you notice it don't yeah. you not in the morning but I think it's I don't, I don't know if it's like an after I don't know if it's a swim thing I don't know if it's just wait is this something or a ph thing is this happen does this happen every period for you or this is new no this is new for me okay. I have had the odd, odd time in the past you know I can't even remember but where stuff like that's happened or wherever I've oh or also I went through a phase maybe a couple of years ago I think it was during or just pre-covid where I was spotting sometimes near ovulation yeah um just for a little bit but yeah just like a tiny little bit of brown um yeah. just like almost like a really dark like a brownish yeah like a very dark so, like brown so from my just my own personal listenings and readings so if the blood is really dark like black or brown that's mm. old blood so oh. that stuff gets cleared out first yes before the really red stuff which yes. is the new blood so um yeah. I had this a, a recent cycle I was in the middle of summer mm. in a summer <laughs> and uh I had a couple of days of spotting mm. and initially I was like oh my god what is it and then I was just like it's just my body clearing stuff out that yeah, like, oh, yeah. there's a, it's like it's like I just thought of it like a little cleaner with a broom like oh I yeah missed a bit. <laughs> There's um oh what is it I think it's the um ah uh, my mum got me when I was christened she got with the Beatrix Potter set and there's one with like Mrs Tittlemouse oh, yeah. and she's like just trying to get rid of like Babbity Bumble and I just have this image with of like broom. yeah with the broom she's just like get out get out of my nest yeah yeah, yeah. that makes sense exactly. and, yeah yeah, yeah. She's like, because I think as well the other day on Friday because I had the ovulation cap and I got them a bit when I was swimming and then I just slowed down I was like okay I'm just trying to you know just overexcited and also because I didn't have a very restful bleed last time so then I knew mm. I would have I would likely would have a bit of pain around ovulating because it's just how it works for mm. me but I thought um yeah I went then I went to the bathroom and I was like I can't be on already I was like what's going on with my body right. I thought, oh maybe I'm gonna come on my period because the pains were like quite strong you know and I was like yeah oh. Like no, let me have more of like I need my inner summer. Like no, <laughs> so, give um, me the yeah. I was like give, give me, me the hit. Arms. Yeah, I was like I need my inner summer first. So um yeah. yeah, so that's been just kind of interesting just to just to note. So you know, always stuff popping yes. up, and also with um sometimes as well seasonal, whether it's spring equinox and autumn equinox, always seem to have a shift in the length of my cycle something odd will not odd will pop up but something different will pop up um so I wonder if that for you as well it'd be interesting you know over over years as you explore this more and more yeah um, seeing where these things pop up because I'm sure around for me it's always around kind of the spring equinox and or sometimes an autumnal equinox doesn't seem to matter about the solstice that doesn't seem to change it but I wonder if it's (laughs) because it's also the time the nearer the time changes with uh spring spring forward and fall back so I wonder if that's kind of a part of it so yeah so um mm. interesting but um yeah go. so but yeah day 14 for me and um so you're definitely in summer you would say yeah I would say definitely okay. in summer yeah yeah I think I've probably got another kind of few days of summer and then probably going into late summer really so um okay in summary but um yeah All so right. uh, yeah so we'll we'll dive into um yeah uh chamber vision, four. vision quest chamber four in DD. um All right. So again, you know, um, we just kind of spoke about it in the last kind of episode and, you know, we were talking about how you can kind of ping pong a little bit between them. Please don't try too much to uh, set rigorously, you know, they, all five of these happen in the, the chamber of menstruation. And you may, may notice all of them. You may really, you may really feel maybe more at home in some of the chambers. You may find that if you're locked out of chamber, one or two that you find it difficult to drop into chamber you know three for example like I was saying 
chamber two if I'm not really able to surrender and let go I find it very hard to fall into chamber three which is the renewal um and kind of getting that um yeah just feeling really really nourished can I ask do you have to have to there's no have to of course in the cycle but Mm. is it more likely that you go through each chamber to get to the next chamber you don't you don't just miss a chamber and then go to the next one I think that it can really vary according to where you're at in your in your life I think that from experience and talking to other women about it last year doing the menstrual leadership program some of them really struggled and and just because they're all of this part of the um of the practice and maybe this will be in because we were talking last time about maybe doing something special for episode uh, 13 but maybe I will do it would be really cool to do something maybe this will be then maybe it won't be it depends I want it to be good so it might we won't do it if it's going to be t- kind of too rushed but in when we when we did this it was a really beautiful meditation practice so you could really dive into and drop into and it doesn't matter where you're at in your cycle it wasn't like we were all just happened to be on the same you know we'd all be on different days or whatever so it doesn't have to be done during your bleed for example um but it was really exploring the five chambers as a meditation um visioning kind of practice and so for some Ooh. people they really struggled to drop into those or for some people it was like everything's just white and they're all they're in the void or you know so if they kind of struggled mm. to get into or they maybe were like listening listening for the for certain chambers and then it got to one and they were like my brain just couldn't nothing new was coming up and it just kind of stayed that way so yeah. it really kind of depends and I think that um so that that's a part of it but I think with the actual with living it as so to speak you um ideally I think you you want to kind of go at them in 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 that order because I think naturally you would separate more first um but I think you can you might you might notice I suspect you go through all of them but you might not necessarily notice that much because unless you're really practicing noticing it why on earth would you because it's just something you might just know yeah. I mean for me for example with the separation that just kind of drops in and I'm like oh but it's here but every all of the other mm. ones I wouldn't say I necessarily notice them so much um without having that awareness of them. you might get them like with the last one we talked about with the oxytocin if you kind of get those cramps you might have kind of might mm. get that little mother hug wash um because again those are kind of yeah. very physical things whereas you might with the surrender the surrender might come for example for me, it will come more of a, if I can't surrender and I'm irritated because I've got to work or I've got to do something else. And it's something that I like, don't have to do because I guess you could always phone in sick or whatever, but for the most part, you know, you're doing something that you don't necessarily, but that for me is when um, I would notice surrender, but I wouldn't necessarily think I'm not surrendering. I'd just be like, oh, I want to do this thing, you know? So it, it kind of, yeah, they might kind of come through in different ways. Um, okay. And yeah, I think with regards to, you know, again uh red school's book uh wise power uh, wild power wise power is the menstruation uh, the menopause menopause i haven't read it yet but that's the newer one but wild power really speaks about it um and i think that it's just kind of holding that space for you to experience um all of the chambers um but i think yeah different people will just have different experiences of it or maybe you know noticing things or you know um well stuff that pops up and now I know about it I'm like oh that's that chamber but before I might have been yeah. like oh why do I have this amazing idea then and you know again you know with the vision uh, quest you know kind of writing stuff down or things like that or especially in the next the, the last one the clarity and direction slash the return it's kind of again it's that holding that tension because I've got all of these ideas and I'm just like oh I want to start them now but actually if I start them when I'm still in inner winter I just burn out super mm. quickly so yeah um, let's, is that this chamber yeah. That is the next that, one. So this one, the this one is the visioning and the vision quest. Okay. Um, Let's so talk I kind about of put, it. Yeah. So I kind of put what a happened, few notes yeah. down here. Yeah. I've mm. put um I've put your calling is calling, <laughs> um ecstasy <laughs> supercharge. Um I'll so I'll read out the notes first because the notes for this one are super short. So I'll just read out a few bits and then we can kind of explore. You know maybe what kind of pops up. But I've got yeah your calling is calling, ecstasy supercharge. Um, dictation from the divine 
um, which again is something that Red School really talk about and have kind of coined the dictation from the divine. Um, I've put, do not take action yet. You will burn out. That's really a note for me when I'm writing this um, <laughs> because I have to be like, do not hold the tension, hold the tension. Um, I've put a huge mm. vision, your unique contribution that also serves the world. Alchemical magic, encounter versus agency. So the power of encounter versus the power of agency, which is a lot of what Red School kind of talk about. Encounter being the um, second kind of half of the cycle, agency being the visa via positive of that kind of spring summer um, ah, um, okay. energy. Uh, have I said that the right way around? Yes, she says confidently, trying to make sense of my own notes. Um, but basically, I've got to hold the tension. Um, and then practice presence, let go, dictation from the divine, brackets, preferably in red pen, <laughs> dance, rest. So that for me is kind of my, that's it. That's the notes I've put. That's kind of my medicine for this kind of part of my cycle. So it's, yeah, the dictation from the divine is really the, um, I love to do lots of journaling. If you listen to episode one about the red pen, um, I tend to write in a red pen. Then I also know um, where the best ideas have come from. <laughs> I'm writing because I'm yeah. down, being the red pen. And really, it's just allowing myself. And, you know, for different people, it might be speaking it. It might be, or you might be, you know, you might be made more creative, maybe painting or writing songs or whatever it is. For me, it's really kind of getting like that kind of brain dump out. And often it will be also just writing, like a meditation might come up where I might be like, oh, I really want to explore this idea of a meditation. And I might be writing it and it feels more like channeling. So it's not really like I'm thinking everything through. I'm just holding the pen. And it's a bit like free writing first thing in the morning. I'm just letting myself write and I'm just seeing, you know, kind of what, what wants to come through. Um, and again, that for me is why I kind of ping pong a bit. So if I'm letting myself surrender, I'm dropping in, I'm getting the mother hug in that third chamber, I'm feeling all cozy. And then I might be like, oh yeah. And then my brain might be like, you know, it's really comfy and relaxed. And my brain's like, oh, this idea or this, or, or remember like three cycles ago, I'd be like, remember when you had an idea about this thing? And I'm like, oh yeah this is where this thing could go now, you know, <laughs> right. it kind of pieces together like a puzzle piece. Um, so it's really, and, and again, I do have the, you know, the hu huge vision, your unique contribution that also serves the world. So that is really your, you know, your, your calling that's calling. It's really being able to listen to source, kind of tap in and just be, and just see what wants to come through, like listening to the the menstrual messages listening to those little sort of womb whispers listening to you know what wants to come up and sometimes that you know again that kind of helps if we if we can can really relax and surrender and be with the oxytocin and the mother hug because then we're not having to take painkillers for example I'm not ideally I'm not taking my ADHD meds because they're brilliant you know and I and I really appreciate having them um, and I know not everyone you know chooses to take medication for whatever it is that's that's going on but I definitely find it, find it harder to tap into that because I tend to take them when I'm working whereas if I've got that day off I've been able to be able to really drop in I'm letting my brain just be super duper um spacey and creative and just kind of hang out in all the liminal space as much as I can and then I'm just writing that all down and the vision is huge it is scary you know it's 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 massive but it's kind of tapping into that and seeing what wants to come through for me a lot of the work with um you know the hormones and the ADHD stuff it's still a huge vision I mean there's massive stuff that I really want to you know to do with this work and um you know you're allowed to just kind of write it all down and just allow yourself to just really allow yourself to kind of have that that dream allow yourself to the possibility to explore allow yourself you know oh what if all of the things you know really rocked what if I did all that stuff it's almost like that kind of um you know new year kind of vibe where it's just like just mm. make your vision board or get on yeah. Pinterest, whatever it is it's kind of that time of like yeah just let yourself like dream you know it's not quite the yeah. place time where we have to start it yet in the spring but it's really just the kind of the dreaming so you know um could we start a podcast what how might that go how could we make it more fun can we get Julia involved? You know, all of the bits that pop up. Because originally, you know, it's like all of these huge things. And the podcast was a huge thing on that list of things like, you know, on that vision. And um, yeah. doing that solo was like, oh my gosh. Whereas now it's like, 
<laughs> yeah, you know, it's yeah, someone else to ping pong off. It's someone else to have these conversations with. It's the external accountability for the ADHD. So it's kind of you know brain hacking, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, and again, you know, like I said, for me is to not take the action because I will burn out. But it's I writing think... it all down. It's capturing it all. That's I think that's really key. Mm. Like, I feel like, you know, a lot of the time I find it hard to have the balance between I've got an idea mm-hmm. and I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking about it. I'm not doing anything about it. Mm. Or, you know, I've got an idea and I'm doing something. I'm, mm. I'm doing something right now about it. And it just, and you just dive in and then you, you know, you draw back. And you're like, oh, maybe that was a little too quick. So, like, I I feel like, you know, I haven't quite struck that balance. And maybe it's because Mm. I haven't worked with the cycle enough. And, Mm. like, when you you said that about don't take action yet, I was like, ah, okay, so maybe it's because I'm feeling this, I'm in this chamber. The supercharge. Yeah, the supercharge vision. And I've had the vision and I'm ready to go Mm. and oh I think I'm ready to go Mm. and then I realize um you know oh my period hasn't you know the 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 chambers haven't finished yet yes yeah and then it's the time to take action Mm. or maybe you know I've been like oh I'm a bit scared by taking action Mm. and I'm just going to keep thinking about it and then spring has gone you know so (laughs) you're in autumn and you're like well now I don't really feel like (laughs) Mm. Mm. (laughs) So, so this is this is something that's actually quite good for me to be aware of. I think, yeah, in my own cycle is okay. The ideas are coming, but there's actually a better time in my cycle for me to take the action. Yes, it doesn't and this now. really links back to a lot of the stuff that we did in those four, those first sort of four slash five episodes where we really dived into the the seasons because yeah yeah there's the winter is you know think of winter in in the world like winter is not when yeah. you're like I'm gonna charge forward with all of these things you know it's really that having that rest it's really 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 dropping in and even it's a bit like a yoga pose it's or a practice it's a bit like where can you melt into the mat even more maybe you're in child's pose like where can you melt even more into the mat where can you surrender even more Mm. if you're in downward dog it's like okay where can we kind of polarize that tipping the tailbone but also grounding down in the hands and the feet is there a little bit more of a stretch that we can do we're not in a way of like pushing pushing more in a way of releasing surrender so it's um Mm. you know and we are kind of taught you know like um you know oh or even just things like even in like sort of some of the the manifestation practices you know it's a bit like oh you you get it and you do it and you got it blah, 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 and it's all just super super quick yeah it can be yeah. like really smooth and it can kind of run through you but also we have to remember that in the lovely age of tiktok and instagram and you know instant gratification <laughs> that stuff takes time it's okay to yeah. have the vision yeah. It's okay to hold it. You're going to come back to it every month. You know, use this time to like come back yeah. to it and revisit it. And it's um, really, I think, helps us to stay in our own lane and to mm. be w- with whatever's going on. I mean, you know, even with the ADHD stuff, so easy to leap into comparison mode because you're oh, like, yeah. oh, I remember to like feed myself today and just do the thing. I remember to pee when I needed to pee rather than just hyper focusing on this other thing, you know? And it's like, oh, yay, well done. You know, whereas it's like, oh, someone else is like getting married or they're doing this thing or they've got this other degree or whatever the heck it's doing. <laughs> and I think in, in this day and age, it doesn't really matter what's going on. Everyone has the, comp- the comparison stuff because because of social yeah. media being so prevalent. I mean, for me, even as a Absolutely. child, it was always there. Now it's probably there if I choose to you know tap into it because it's uh, you know it's so um saturated within society slash culture but I think yeah it really helps you to kind of stay in your own lane and to hold your vision because it's like this is you know the stuff I want to do isn't going to be overnight it's just not it's it's really right. enjoying the slow burn and it's also really helps you as well I think to shed the stuff that you don't actually need to do like what do you really like yeah. you know for me for some of that was like oh god I need to be posting all the time on it and I, and I thought well Instagram is great and there's some wonderful people on there on that community on my business page and I really like connecting with them and stuff does come through with the cycle work so I really love that I'm sharing it but I don't have to be sharing mm. it I don't have to be on every single day because that's also not living yeah. simply and that's not practicing what I'm preaching you know so it's yeah. um it's kind of exploring that and um 
yeah and just yeah like I say just kind of staying in your own lane and helping you to work out what it what the important stuff is you know what's where's the good yeah. juicy stuff where's where we need to put the effort and where's you know um if you imagine it like that jar there's something about a lecture and a jar and it's got like the big pebbles in it and those are like the big things and then you've got the sand that fills it up I don't know it's a whole thing I can't remember <laughs> I don't picturing know the story <laughs> but it's kind of about like yeah what are the kind of the big pebbles like the podcast is okay. a big pebble you know whereas the Instagram is maybe some of the sand so why are we okay. trying to put so much focus on the Instagram for example sand. you know then the sand and the pebble well you know well this has got the juice in it this is what I really like you know doing and having these conversations and it's bigger and it's going to take you know the bigger stuff takes longer even if it looks like yeah. something that happens overnight we all know that's not the case as there can it be very like rarely does years of groundwork yeah before stuff you know kind of um yeah. And it becomes bigger and also to prepare us right it's a bit like it's with every cycle we're kind of exploring new things and we are um maybe I mean you know a bit like me with the last cycle with work and stuff and I was like completely just thrown because it was a really challenging cycle and I was like wait a minute I'm falling into the old habits before I was doing all the cycle <laughs> work you know so I was like hang on a second I gotta catch myself here um and so it's always that you know the beautiful thing with the with the with uh having a having a period is that you can always come back to it and it's always that grounding and that's that like re-anchoring yeah. and it's kind of like all right cool so I was doing really well with my practice or I was listening to my body or blah 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 up until day 17 and then I just was decided to push through <laughs> in autumn and not slow my roll in any way and that's when everything fucked up and next cycle I'll try not to do that or I'll try not to do it till day 18 we'll just see how that yeah. feels, you know? so it's kind of that slowly slowly approach but I think it yeah. helps you to weave out what's important and yeah. and I think the this vision uh chamber mm. is also um like for me what I've st- I, I I didn't I, you know I'm not knowledgeable about the chambers but I'm uh the sort of bleed on it and the downloads and things I'm becoming more aware mm. of those and sometimes it's the same thing that comes up so like it's not mm. the vision is not oh, I've got this new vision every cycle yeah sometimes it's almost like your body is just like remember that thing <laughs> mm, remember that niggle mine yeah. is also the burlesque stuff burlesque keeps going every time every I feel like every burlesque. conversation I have with someone someone will be like do you do burlesque I'm just getting a burlesque vibe and I'm not like that set. I'm not just <laughs> dancing around taking off you know my clothes just to I mean sometimes I am but no, most of the time I'm not. Sometimes it's just a conversation. I had a conversation with an astrologist last year and she was like, I just feel like, I don't know why, but I'm just feeling about burlesque. And I've been like Googling burlesque classes and I was like, yeah. And stuff like that kind of yes. comes through. So sometimes it's yes. kind of little niggles like that where it's like, are you doing the thing? Did you start the thing? Did you look into the yeah. thing? Yeah. And sometimes yeah. it is your, um, you know, is your kind of your calling that's calling. So for me, a big part of it, mm. and I think a part of the stuff that, didn't help with the PMDD was that because last year a lot of the PMDD symptoms really started to kind of melt away and I think a big part of that was not only doing this work with Red School and doing the menstrual leadership um, program certification so that we were meeting up regularly and we were you know doing all of the work as it were and really focusing on the cycle and nitty-gritty and having those conversations for like I don't know you know between sort of five and ten hours a week with people and doing that homework but also because a big part of me with with my my calling that kind of called and came through was to share the work about ADHD and hormones I feel like that's such a big big thing um and so I think for me a part of that was that my the big self the the big self-sabotage to the the inner critic was more placated because I was doing the work that had been niggling 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 for years of cycle stuff right hey this thing this thing this thing so again it's like if you keep remember this yeah even if you're just taking the tiniest steps right it might just be you're just googling it or you're just getting a book about it or you're listening to a youtube video about it whatever it is right um and I think if it's like really your calling then that will just kind of keep on know niggling at you and then there's also stuff I think that comes up you know that's really that's really enjoyable things that you might want to do you know like you know the, oh gosh what's going on let's get rid of that oh. mm-hmm. da, da, yeah. da, da. there we go um you know so I think those things yeah they come back around and because the vision is so big so yeah it's gonna be yeah. you know if it's like a core thing it's gonna keep coming back because it needs time to marinate and to yeah 
to practice it. So it's kind of like taking one thing and it might be, you know, let's take the podcast as an example. Could be the idea of the podcast is there. That's a big, big, that's part of the big vision, right? One of the things is podcast. Okay. The inner spring might be like, hmm, how might I shape this a little bit how might I do work this out you know if I was going to have some episodes some planning. Might, where might I start the planning yeah planning. or it might be kind of playfully like hmm, let's see see you know if there's anyone you know I mean Julia just popped in my head you know because of the questions that we had in our holiday last year and I was like yeah oh, I really should have just asked her if I could have recorded those car phone conversations and then I was like just <laughs> ask her if she wants to record the podcast with you you know so it's like maybe you can playfully <laughs> reach out to someone else And then in the summer would be, you know, and then I think the spring, you know, that kind of conversation was like, how might we plan this? You know, how might this go? How much time do we want to put into it? How much time do we have to have to put into it? Um, Blah, 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 blah. Can we make it simple? Can we make it kind of easy? Like, does it have to have an introduction? Still doesn't have an intro or an outro, because quite frankly, it's another step that I have to do that I haven't done that once I've done it, it will be there forever if I want it to be. But it's another thing and I then, then haven't done it. And that's OK as well. Right. So can we keep it playful? Can it not be like a, it has to be perfect straight away? Can we enjoy, you know, the sound getting better as we as we move forward can we enjoy you know the video quality being better if it goes on youtube all this stuff Mm. um and then in the summer might be like messily taking the action to do the thing and then in the in the autumn would be like editing the thing and then we're back Mm. to where we were we're back to uh you know in a winter but it's a new one so it's sustaining that yeah sustaining that and exploring it um we got eight minutes left julia was there anything else was really popping up for you I'm so excited to see how this exploration goes kind of over this year with you you know exploring the yeah. co- not only the crossover days but like the yeah the little different kind of segments of your of the menstrual chambers really yeah I mean this is so new for me I didn't before a few weeks ago when we started talking about it I didn't know anything oh, <laughs> about the chambers yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's been really cool I don't know what else was on the list. I think you said dancing and something. I think dancing and I think just dancing and rest because that's what comes up for me, which is probably why the burlesque comes up so much because it's always like (laughs) just movement or like belly dancing. Yeah, practice presence, let go, dictation from the divine, preferably in red pen, dance and rest. And I do have a lovely Mm. inner winter um, playlist on my Spotify. Oh, yeah. You can see probably the easiest place to get it is through... I don't know if I have it in the show notes. Maybe I should add it if I don't, but yeah, uh, either in it. the show notes, yeah, or um, the uh, it'll be on my Instagram in the link tree. So, um, yeah, plug that in and see, you know, because I just have that in the headphones, so it's really in my ears, and I'll just uh, write, and then I might get a surge of energy, you know, like you were saying with the energy, and then I'll just have a little mm. dance, but it'll really be like a super chill, like, you know, almost yeah. like this... 80 year old hippie kind of dancing and then I'll sit down again after like maybe a song or two and then I'm like wow that was exhausting I'll just sit back down on my bed now and try it again so it's really like very it's not like I'm doing this crazy shaking stuff that's like in autumn where it's like just want to howl and be a wolf you know it's really just very gentle um kind of movement or whatever if you know whatever Mm. feels good or just stillness if that's what you need um yeah, yeah just kind of having that you know you know kind of to punctuate your day really um However you can and enjoy that ping pong again for me, you know, the visioning might come, I might have an idea, I'm scribbling it down and then I kind of need to rest again. And then it's like, okay, let's surrender. Or Maybe I write it and I'm like, then my brain gets involved. Right. And I'm like, oh, but how am I going to do, how am I going to do the thing? Don't get caught up on the how, just, just take the right, it will work itself out. Yeah. It might not be this cycle. It might be in like four years time on a cycle and you're like, ah, yeah, ah," you know, so it (laughs) it might be a while and that's okay. Um, and yeah. again, you might kind of stop and then it's like, okay, can we surrender a bit more? How, how what can we do to mm-hmm. do to kind of bring that in, invite that in? Then you're in renewal again. So for me, I kind of do ping pong mm. again between those three for maybe like a day or two. Um, yeah. So just yeah, okay. explore. Or you're on mute. Oh, sorry. It could be. It could you're be like, that... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could be that there's a couple of days where you're just cycling through those so surrender renewal vision Mm. oh I need to surrender again renew again vision and then so that might happen a few times yes it's not just gonna maybe maybe it happens once 
maybe it happened several times mm. yeah for me okay. I feel like sometimes yeah I mean the last cycle for example I really can't think of too much maybe the odd visioning or vision quest because my brain is just so imaginative anyway but really for the most part I'd say I probably was it's kind of like stuck in for want of a better word in trying to surrender I probably because I was working a lot I was probably like I wasn't quite able to surrender as much so I don't really notice that much of the other three chambers at that come after that mm, and therefore okay. um you don't get the next chamber is the clarity and direction slash return so not feeling isn't as clear on the next kind of step well for me the clarity oh, came okay. actually because I was like oh I need a reframe of this because I'm being really harsh on myself so it's kind of a reframe in that way mm, but it was more okay. of a uh less from the the cycle perspective so yeah so it might be that you know you you do kind of you know might be in a one a bit more depending on stuff that's going on and it's um being kind to ourselves you know and giving ourselves grace rather than yeah i'm not in the next chamber yet because i've done it wrong no 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 <laughs> <laughs> or i didn't get the clarity so i didn't go through all the chambers yeah, so i've done yes, it wrong yeah 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 it's like okay next time i know what i need i know i yeah. need to change this one thing mm-hmm. and then maybe i will cycle through them or cycle yeah. through more than before or yes yeah I think I mean for I me think... that's doing stuff as well like you know making sure I have some a couple of meals in for that I can warm up yeah you know so that I can just drop in and surrender rather than decide what meal to eat because I find that really overwhelming mm. so that's just a tiny way where it's like I can help myself to surrender better next time is by some preparation yeah. which we can do in our ovulation slash autumn when we have a bit of energy slash the urge to just sort the shower and get it done <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we feel like yeah sorting it out exactly yeah oh well, i think so um i think we'll uh we'll wrap it up there juju because it's nearly, yeah. nearly finished um okay. thank you so much for joining me for a double whammy this evening um no problem. we'll speak to you folks in the next episode season season session 13 i'm obsessed with seasons today i don't know why um yeah as always any questions you can pop us an email or drop me a message on instagram um please like this please share it please yeah get it out there for more people to enjoy and listen to if you've got any feedback if you've got any info or any experiences that you want to share that'd be awesome as well um and we will see you in the next episode or hear from you or you'll hear from us in the next episode (laughs) of free flow um so thank you so much from both of us yeah Bye. bye